Okay, so before I start, um, I just want to say a few words about someone I've been lucky enough to get to know, work with, and someone who's positively impacts us all at Mahjong. I began my Mahjong journey in September 2016, and shortly after, in 2017, a new vice chancellor arrived. A variety of positive changes began to happen quite quickly after that VC arrived. For example, some of you may remember parts of Marjon underwent the most dramatic of facelifts, for example, uh, from the 1980s to the 2020s. <laughs> An enthusiasm for each and everyone's passion is clear to see from that VC, who sits in the canteen at lunch daily, has kept his feet firmly planted on the ground and truly values the importance of student voice. So, from one marge honour to another, I'd like to take this moment to say a thank you from me, a thank you from us, and a thank you from the entirety of Marjon to an inspirational and dedicated Vice-Chancellor, Rob. <laughs> Staff, honoured guests, lecturers, families, and fellow graduates, I'm going to start with a question of the utmost importance. Is anyone wearing a striped jumpsuit beneath their gown in a totally 70s way? <laughs> or perhaps spontaneously going to burst into an ABBA song today? No. Michelle? <laughs> oh, how disappointing. Right. Note to self. Write a strongly worded email to the writers of Mamma Mia 2, as the graduation scene in that film was not entirely realistic, nor was it true. <laughs> I suppose that example links to when we all began our courses, however many years ago, having an idealised vision of how education could help young people learn and grow. When in fact there are multiple constrictions which could dampen our point of view, Yet for each child to thrive, we must be the ones to rise to the challenge and navigate through. A people business is something that we are all about to enter, where we are going to become nurses, counsellors and learning mentors. So when a, child when a child hurts themselves and approaches you in the playground with an emotional scowl, what would a teacher do, or should I say nurse, but offer the best medical treatment of a wet paper towel. <laughs> a counsellor I was on my first proper playground duty eight weeks ago, and what I thought a child said to me made me feel incredibly low. My grandma and grandpa has gone to heaven. After a conversation with her about losing family members, she added, they went by train. <laughs> With further investigating, I realised what she'd meant to say was they'd gone to Devon. <laughs> Teaching is one of those professions where we put an unbelievable amount of energy into our craft. And it's all worthwhile when you see children progress, but also when they simply make you laugh. Countless moments of joy undoubtedly will be created by kids. Nonetheless, there are the infuriating and testing times. My biggest one currently is trying to figure out what happens to all the glue stick lids. <laughs> I mean, honestly, where do they all go? Have they become some type of rare collectible item? I fear this is one of education's biggest mysteries that we shall never truly know. Joking aside, there are the good days, and then there are the hard, where you feel the world is rested upon your shoulders, and you've been left emotionally scarred. A saying I came across recently was, when you've had a disastrous and excruciating school shift, we should not dwell, but reflect and appreciate them as a learning gift. In those challenging moments, yes, we are all going to encounter quite a few. A quick fix is having pick-me-ups, or as my well-being lead abbreviates them, well-deserved PMUs. PMU. 
Now, it's time for our metaphorical curtain call at a big-hearted university, which is quirky and small. I was 19 when I first arrived, young and naive. Little did I know how much I was going to achieve. I started by studying a BA in performing arts ed, and from there my love for learning has continuously spread. Being taught by inspirational lecturers with such style has resulted in me becoming a big time bibliophile. So it only made sense to study an MA in children's lit. I broke the bank on books, I'm not ashamed to admit. A children's theatre company for four years I ran, so many supported as I was a one man band. Laughter, tears, and stress came with completing a PGCE. Gaining QTS and securing a teaching post was my grand finale. For my second school placement, I was up in Landon Town, being taught by an influential teacher in a remarkable school molded me into the teacher that I am. Marjon is all about the people that you meet en route. Lecturers and friends are like our family, and I hope, like I, that you've had a hoot. Sea swims, theatre shows, uncontrollable giggles in lectures, intoxicating nights in Barjon have all been shared with lifelong friends that I met through Marjon. Connections we've created will be kept in our memories and our hearts the most. So when those hard days come upon us, let's reach out to our fellow Marjoners and keep them close. It's time for us all to take our final bow. Where has the time gone, eh? It's flown by somehow. Marjon, you've helped us spread our wings and we've grown. So it's now time for us to fly from a place which we can all unanimously call home. Thank you.